At junior high, we had a course called Experience the Work Life. I had to get a job for a few days and do whatever I was told to, just like adults do. The local department store took in three from each class. All you had to do was sign on a list. So I did. I was assigned to the cosmetics department. It was fantastic. Fragrant lipsticks, shiny tubes of mascara, and uh, I got to touch everything. So I filled the shelves and fetched stuff from the basement storage, and all this was kind of fun. So the next day I did the same thing, and the next day... In the end, my supervisor told me I could choose something for myself. I got this eye color. It was great. However, although there were certain fascinating points in retail business, I began to doubt if I wanted to spend my life putting stuff on shelves. The next year we did a repeat course. It was suggested I could go work with my aunt in the theater museum. The theater museum was a strange place. It was full of stuff, collections and workers scattered around an old cable factory. It was full of everything odd and unusual. Still photos from plays, masks, headpieces for ballerinas. Most memorable was a dress made for a diva for her lead role in Tosca in 1914. It was sewn in Paris by Atelier Worth. Green velvet, embroidered in gold. Exquisite work of fashion. And there it was, inside a brown box, along with countless other things, each with a fascinating story. I was sold. From that moment on, I wanted to work in a museum with all those boxes and to be exposed to all those stories every day. Now, you must wonder if I really kept all that stuff from 1996 till this day. Yes, I am, I think, a collector by nature and was already at 14 years old. So could I have become anything else than a museum professional?